Hey guys, welcome back. It's again time for a new adventure vlog. I have got a lot of new stuff with me in my big backpack. For today it's 36 kilograms, so it's heavy. The weather forecast for tomorrow is not perfect, but I want to do some climbing. So that's why my backpack is that heavy, because I have two half ropes with me and all the climbing gear and climbing protection I possibly need. But yeah, I'm not in a hurry. I have my tent with me, so I have enough time to go uphill slowly. So the weight doesn't matter that much. Be so kind, let me know if you prefer me talking while I'm doing the adventure or if you prefer the audio made in the post-production would be a good feedback for me so I know how to do it in the future. I'm um, again here in Austria for Alberg. This is the former Rinsee and the Freiburger Hütte, the Freiburger Hut. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite place and I'm going uphill to the Rote Wand. It's like the red wall. It's a big wall where you can do serious climbing or the easy route. I selected for me. Here you can see how I pick up my backpack. I place it on my knee and with some kind of a kick I place it on my back. The important thing is the back is always straight so I prevent injuries. A camera in the backpack is a camera you don't use. So that's why I place my camera always on my neck. Only when it's raining or it's just too wet I have my camera in my backpack. My boots are category D mountaineering boots. They are Hanwag Centauri. They are crampon capable and they are good to support my ankles because of the heavy weight. Here for the beginning I have added some extra footage so you can see how slow I am because some people think I'm a machine and running up the mountain but that's just not true. This is the Rote Wand and this is where I want to go. Especially if you're walking around with a heavy backpack, you burn a lot of calories and you have to eat enough. So now I will make the short break and because there is some wind and I'm sweaty, I will use this wind shirt by Black Diamond. A wind shirt avoids the wind chill effect, so you stay warm in these conditions. My stove is by Optimus, it's a sphere, it's a lightweight stove which uses white gasoline so at first I have to warm it up before I can use it. In this case I'm doing a warm isotonic drink. Yeah it's quite warm but a warm isotonic drink is just nice for the body and the body doesn't need the energy to warm up the cold drink. I regulate my body heat by using this buff. It's made from merino or sometimes I'm using a thin merino beanie. Since I know this trail I know where to pick up water. So for the way up I only brought like one or one and a half liters of water. Now I arrived on a small lake where I can fill up my water reserves. My water filter for now is the Ketodyne Pocket from the Tactical Line, so it's black. And I want to do some photos for myself, so I'm using this Yongnuo remote control to take photos with my camera. See the filter box, you just have to pump and it filters the water. I will fill this into my Nalgene bottle. Most of the time the water in the mountains is so clean you don't really have to filter it, but for me it is some extra safety because animals still poop near to the water or there can be dead animals next to the water. I made some cool pictures of this Catadine B3 filter in the 3 liter version. Here you can see I checked my pictures and this is the Catadine B3 3 liter version. I used the shoulder length sling to wear it around my body and now I go up again with 5 extra kilos. 
As you can see, carrying water is a big difference because now with the extra weight, I have a backpack with 40 kilos. But finally, I arrived at my destination for today, so it's time to set up my camp. I again brought my Hilleberg Una, but this time without the inner tent, so only using the outer tent. Normally the inner tent is attached to those rings. And this is the inside of the tent, now it's a bit bigger. And the special thing is, it's lighter without the inner tent. Now it's time for a meal. I have all my food inside this bag. And I will again heat my meal up with this Optimus Sphere. I'm using this old school German army food this time. Uh, yeah, but heating it up like this is kind of, yeah, not nice. As a litter bag, I'm using this dry bag because I don't like the thin trash bags which can rip. Now it's getting colder, so I changed from my wind jacket to an uh, isolation jacket with some G loft. In this case, it's a Carinthia. Ultra jacket. The most important thing for today is checking the topo so tomorrow I can't find the route. By the way, I brought my Jeven Fjallducken in this nice camouflage. I was not sure how it will work out in the mountains. And now, yeah, it's time for bed. So, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Let me show you my overnight setup. In my Yevon bag I have my camera, so it's dry overnight, also my extra lens. In this yellow bag I have all my electronic equipment to recharge my batteries. I have a water bottle next to me and my headlamp easy to reach. My sleeping bag in this case is a synthetic one. It's a Carinthia G145. My sleeping mat is from Tamarest, a rich rest, and inside my sleeping bag I have got this inflatable pillow by C2 Summit, a teddy bear from my girlfriend, and my warm jacket, so in the morning it's already warm. Also my inner soles from my boots, so they get rid of the moisture overnight. It's in the morning, so of course I need hot coffee. And my breakfast. My breakfast are cereals mixed with whole milk powder from Track and Eat, so I just have to add water, in this case with my B3 filter from the technical line, then I have to mix it and then I can eat nice cereals with cold milk. When I'm on tour I'm using instant coffee. Yeah, it's not as nice as fresh brewed coffee, but it's lighter. Time to gear up for the climb, but I was not sure if there will be real climbing or if it's more kind of reconnaissance, so next time I can do some serious climbing. But yeah, as you can see, I brought all of my gear so I can do proper climbing with protecting myself. Most important thing when you leave your camp is to save the position in the GPS and to remember where your camp is. So when you return and there is fog, you will still be able to find it. Down there was my place for the night, somewhere there over the snowfield. The animals and the Alps are not dangerous because they try to kill you. They are dangerous because they walk around and step rocks loose. In this case it's not that dangerous, but when they are higher above you, it can be damn dangerous.
this is the start of the route or more or less the start of the route it's still some kind of quite easy climbing but it's not that easy to find the start and for solo rope climbing you need a bomb proof anchor so i'm already looking for good cracks to place place protection for a multi-directional bomb proof anchor but in this loose rock it's not that easy so at first i'm climbing solo with odd rope now i found out this is the route or this has to be the route because the topo and the area where i'm in just fits perfect i'm still looking for good cracks to place protection but again for rope soloing you need a bomb proof anchor at the bottom of the climb and this anchor has to be multi-directional and in this area it was not that easy especially because i'm already climbing i placed some protection so this should protect me from falling off but this is not the proper way of doing rope soloing because this anchor i made is not multi-directional so i can not use any more protection while on the climb Yeah, I've looked so hard to find some place to, uh, for making good anchor to continue my climb. But yeah, I had no other chance than using a single bolt and then rappel down to the beginning of the route. I'm not a free solo climber, so that's why I decided to go down again. And the weather forecast was not that good and there may be rain. So what I learned is how to deal with this route. For rope soloing I would have to make a bomb proof anchor even before the start of the route or bring a body to belay me because then you don't need this multi-directional anchor. If you walk on grounds like this Category D or other thick and strong mountaineering boots are gold. Yeah, I will not climb the Rote Wand, but this is my alternative route. I also want to do some reconnaissance. This is more kind of scrambling and some easy climbing. But there's no route marked in it, so it's not that easy to find the most easiest way. Here it's not easy to do rope soloing and the climbing is easy enough for me to do it non be late so it's solo climbing or solo scrambling however you want to call it because most of the time it's more like walking up like this. Now you can see thunderstorm and heavy rain is coming closer. So I'm not sure if we can reach the summit. Okay, it starts to rain, fuck. I already had enough fun <laughs> and the first rain drops felt. So for me it was time for descending because in this case I had no rope with me and climbing down on wet stone is not that good idea. In the back you can see the heavy rain and it's coming closer and closer and the wind also picks up. So yeah, it's better time to go down to my tent. I was not really satisfied because I was not able to 
reach the summit of Tirota 1, then also didn't make my alternative route. But yeah, the reconnaissance was successful, because now I know where the route starts and what I have to do next time when I'm coming back. Because of the wind and the rain, I decided to make my meal inside my tent. But it's really important if you're using a stove inside your tent, you have enough ventilation, otherwise you can get dizzy and sleep away or even pass away. <laughs> this is the best way to heat up those meals. Just place them in a can with hot water and then you make the water boil and this heats up the meal inside this pack. And again I'm drinking isotonic drink. Seems like the big rain clouds just moved around me, or let's say uh, they moved around the big hill to my right. Now I'll pack my day pack, in this case it's a ultralight stuff sack by Osprey, and I put all my water filters inside there. I went down to a pond with icy water to refill all my water reserves and to wash myself. Shit, is this cold? Fuck. Ah. At first I wanted to go inside the water to refresh my whole body but the water was just too cold and yeah I became some kind of a pussy so I didn't make it into the water but I sat next to it and washed my feet and my torso so that was still okay for me. <laughs> My last meal will be this track and eat meal and then it's time for bed. So third day and last day it's again time for hot coffee and to undo my camp. So I remove all my stuff and pack it into my big backpack. Most important thing when leaving a spot where you have been is looking for litter or for gear you forgot. So I will do some intense look back. For the way back I also empty some of my water bottles because I don't need all that water for going down. Yeah, now I almost made it down to the Fomrinsee. So my trip is done for now. Yeah, feel free to leave feedback in the comment section so I know what you liked, what you didn't like about this video. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Here you can see how big my backpack is compared to my car. Yeah, maybe feel free to check my Instagram account and also check me on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.